This is a short presentation about uh, clinical decision support tools and three reasons why clinical commission groups going forward for 2015 onwards should have this as part of their primary care transformation strategy uh, and, and also as a key enabler for primary care. This is really, really vital. Just want to move on to the second slide now um, to, to just focus in terms of the, the three reasons why CCG should have um, a clinical decision support tool as part of their strategy going forward uh, from 2015 onwards. The three keys essentially are uh, clinical pathways that are localized uh, to fit the patient demographics. As we all know, um, national guidelines are available through NICE, etc. However, the key differentiator is that patient demographics change from region to region and um, borough to borough. If you just look at uh, London as a region, uh, patient demographics change from North London to South London, from East London to West London. So it's really, really important that clinical pathways are created that are local to fit the local population, uh, to fit um, the, the, the patient demographics. The second key is ensuring that the end users, especially GPs, it could, could also be uh, healthcare professionals, actually have access to the most up-to-date um, information relating to the clinical specialty. That's really, really vital. And number three, it does provide assurance for all partners within the local health economy that, that uh, at the start of the referral process where the uh, the GP meets the patient uh, during the GP patient consultation that the GP actually has access to the most up-to-date content and that information is available at their fingertips at the point that it's needed which is normally during the GP patient consultation so it's 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 really vital that um, the uh, this assurance is actually provided so these are the three keys uh, uh, and, uh, that, uh, that, that is just to give you a flavor of why clinical decision support tool is really, really uh, important. A bit about myself. My, my name is Mark de Rocha. I've actually worked in NHS for over 10 years. Previous to that, I was in the private sector um, and worked for large and small companies as well as startups. And what, one of the things that that I really have enjoyed in the in, in, in the healthcare sector is my passion for actually ensuring that whatever changes I make actually has a a, um, a benefit to the to the patient as well and, uh, and 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 that really drives me forward to 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 enable that to happen and um, that, that that's that that's been really really exciting so in recent years I've actually focused on primary care transformation and especially enabler programs but if you'd like to know more my contact details are there contact me through Facebook or through LinkedIn many thanks